a drug factory busted inside a Hartford home. Police say they found cocaine, cash, and guns. But that's not all. Seven young children were also right there in that home sleeping. The youngest just three years old. News East Bob Wilson live tonight in Hartford with more on how police zeroed in on this drug den and how those kids are doing tonight. Bob? Yeah, this all just comes down to good old fashioned police work with a new high tech twist. They use shot spotters, an array of uh, antennas and microphones around the city to pinpoint where gunshots are going off. They noticed a concentration in one certain area on Maple Avenue, and they went after it with everything they had. Just boom, and all the cops out here. It had to be 10 to 15 cops. It was outside, in the back, and in, in the hallway. Neighbors jarred awake by the sound of police entering an apartment on Maple Avenue just before sunrise. Police say they found crack cocaine, marijuana, hundreds in cash, along with three handguns and matching ammunition. Inside what they are calling a drug factory were seven sleeping children ages between 3 and 15. And their target? Joxel Mendez, police say a convicted felon. And those seven children just had a negative contact uh, with the police department uh, at a young age in the early hours of the morning where they see police officers entering their house armed and, and taking a family member away. Police say they went in early in the morning because most people, children included, would be sleeping, keeping civilians safe in their beds. Well, as you can tell, it is a rowdy apartment building, but what brought police to this location was actually Shot Spotter. It's an array of microphones throughout the city, and they zeroed in on this location because there were numerous shots fired. They say once they heard the name Joxel Mendez, they say they knew in that 25 years he's been around, he had a serious criminal history, one with a lot of violence. He has 13 previous arrests here. He is a convicted felon, uh, and there are some violent acts uh, in his past. Uh, so, obviously, him having three guns, uh, which he's not allowed to have, one of which was stolen, uh, I, can, I can tell you with some certainty that those guns would have been used to shoot somebody down the road. That is a bold statement, and police say they do have all uh, seven kids. They were put into DCF custody. They say Mendez is the father to one. The woman living in the apartment was the mother to the other six. And they say the conditions inside the apartment were very questionable as to whether the kids should even be there at all. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.